Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Anthro Dimensions New Game Minus 4 video, episode 15. And it's been a day or so since last episode. And yeah, E or E6 E antimatter. Which is crazy. This is not only enough to get 50 eighth dimensions, it's enough to get 60 eighth dimensions. I have 942 tick speed upgrades from time dimensions. If I want, I could get 71 galaxy points, but I want to get the galaxy, the third galaxy instead. So, I'm just going to hold M down, and yeah, this is going to be very quick, just because it's been a lot of time, which means this upgrade is now very good. So, already up to six dimension boosts. Could probably, yeah, of course, do all the time dimension shifts up to six, and probably, I, I think I can get all the way up to, like, six tick speed boosts, which is crazy. Like that... That, that's a lot. So, there's seven time dimension boosts, and I can get 95 galaxy points. This is where things slow down a little bit, and it's actually somewhat disappointing that I, um, I mean, I, of course, I could go to 48 dimensions, and it, it'll make, it'll probably allow me to get a lot more galaxy points, so I, I'm going to push up to enough eighth dimensions here, and I'm, I'm going to get as many tick speed boosts as I can here, because that's also just gonna help everything even though it does not help galaxy points but it just helps me get more antimatter quicker so yeah I need it's, I need like E47 for 40 eighth dimensions so that's not bad like it's now only taking a few seconds to reach enough antimatter so yeah now um, next dimension boost do it one more time, and this will. I need. I think I need. E, yeah, E forty nine antimatter to get to the next time dimension boost, and I think that's as far as I'm really gonna go, because there's. I don't. There's really not. I mean, I could try to push to fifty eighth dimensions, but it would just take too long, and this is gonna give me a total of one hundred thirty two galaxy points. So it's actually somewhat disappointing. I thought I was gonna get a little more, but. It's still something. Like maybe when I get this 300 galaxy point upgrade, that will help things. But actually, just getting this, it's going to go from E3 to E4, so I'll be able to get a lot more galaxy points than before. So I, I think the best strategy is to go for 35 galaxy. Actually, maybe not 35. Maybe, maybe I could have gotten more, but I think the best strategy here is to get first get the first antimatter galaxy, and then. Just try to go for the second antimatter galaxy. You don't really need time dimension shifts for it. And I don't even do this dimension boost here because it's just, I think it's just quicker to just reach the galaxy like that. And then I go up to six dimension boosts and then get up to six time dimension shifts and then get up to 28 dimensions. That's 35 galaxy points. This gives me about one galaxy point per second. So yeah, that, that's, a, that's a good strategy. Here, it's not the most interesting strategy. Like, it's not really... I, I think I'm just going to keep doing a bunch of these runs until I get, like, 600 galaxy points in total. It's just so I can um, get to the next upgrade here. I The next up... The, the upgrades are going to be interesting. Because, like, the next one's going to buff Tixie Boost. Actually, I may not even want this next upgrade. It's barely going to actually do anything that'll that'll really be useful so yeah i may just want to skip it for now i mean the, the next upgrades i think these these cost a thousand and it says increase the multiplier of the product of pot of bot based on galaxy points and then there's also tick speed multiplier boosts time dimensions more based on your galaxy points so i said they're both based on galaxy points and the thing is that um, this and this one here, it's only going to buff long runs, so it's actually not going to really buff the galaxy point gain. There is another way to spend galaxy points, however, and that is um, on the auto buyers, which could be... Oh, it's still buying singles for some of these? Weird. Um, it's not weird, but you know. And I could try to like automate entire runs. And that, that That's interesting. Like... Especially for stuff like automatic dimension boosts. Okay, I think what I want to do, I want um, 
Does Galaxies require to always Dimension Boost? It's just two. And then Max Eighth C is done reset. I don't really care. Um, or, no, oh wait, I, I know. This is like the max number of Dimension Boosts. Then I think 20. And maybe if I... So now it should be automating. Yeah, it's automating these Dimension Boosts. I also may want to automate Time Dimension Boosts. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to do that, but it should be... It, sh it should be easy, or, I mean, I know how to do it, but, um, maybe a little bit complicated. There's max eighths used on reset, and galaxies required to always time dimension boost. That's not good. I thought there was an option that would be max, or enough dimension boost to always time dimension boost. There's nothing I, c I can do to get it, for like, sometimes, you know, it will, um, you know, it it'll just reset everything. So I'm I don't I don't want that. I think what I do want to do I th I think I just may I may just want to get automatic dimension boosts, automatic galaxies. I can't even why why can't I upgrade the interval? That's dumb. I think I just want to get something like this to automate dimension boosts, and then um, all I need to do is just press G and um, time dimension boost when I need to. That's all I need to do. So. Yeah, it's it's definitely it's definitely quicker than before. So, oops, that, that might have not been the best time dimension boost. And of course, I also want to um, automate galactic sacrifices. I'm not sure if I have that auto buyer yet. I do have that auto buyer, so I cannot upgrade the interval though, unfortunately. But I can do almost everything else. So I don't really want the I don't really need the automatic tape speed boost or automatic time dimension boost. I think this is this strategy is good. And maybe I, I may just want to make it max AC or 10 because it I noticed it bought the sixth dimension boost before I got like the galaxy. So Okay, this definitely should be a faster run than before. Because I have to click less buttons. So five, six, and then um, three time dimension boosts and 35 galaxy points. So I guess this is what I'm just gonna keep doing. I need to, you know, I, I do, I do need to get these galaxies there. It does automate it one galaxy every minute, but that's just slow. So yeah, this does seem like a decent strategy. Like this is, it's definitely getting me, that's, that was 92 galaxy points per minute. So it's definitely giving me something. I don't think I'm getting a complete automated run, which is unfortunate. Maybe what I want to do, I'm just going to try something here. Automatic time dimension boosts. Galaxy required to always time dimension boost two, and then max eighth CU number reset. I'm not even sure what that means, but just one. So maybe this will automate the second galaxy. Let's see if it does anything. Um, six dimension boosts. It's not automating, unfortunately, even though I have... Actually, no, it's because I don't have it on. So, let's see, is it... Yeah, it's every 15 seconds, which is slow. So, um, yeah, every one second. And let's see if this is... Okay, now here's an entire run. Let's see how, how good this is going to do. There's first galaxy, and then um, second galaxy right here. And then, for, yeah, I'm, I'm get it's getting reset by random time dimension boosts. So, I mean, I guess it's a little more automatic than before, but I don't think this is giving me better runs. And for whatever reason, it doesn't tell you your go your gal galaxy points per minute. So, yeah, I'm I'm gonna want to turn this off. Unfortunately, I mean, I could keep it on if I wanted the runs to be a little more automated, but. The thing, the thing is that it just it hurts the galaxy points for a minute. So maybe what I'll do, like, on camera, is I'll do, like, the runs like this, which is faster. Um, and if I'm off camera, maybe I'll, I just, I, I'll be doing the, I'll turn on the galaxy, not galaxy, time dimension boost auto buyer, so I can still get, um, I can still automate runs. It just won't be as quick.
so here we go. I'm, I'm up to 568 galaxy points. I think I just want to keep getting galaxy points like this. I don't really think there's a good reason to try to get like the like this upgrade yet because I can I can barely get tick speed boosts and like even though it's def it's getting it's definitely buffing tick speed boost to a good degree it's still just not going to be all that good and actually maybe the 35 um, galaxy points for galactic sacrifice at this point maybe it'll be better to go up to 38th dimension just because I have um my I have a lot more galaxy points than before so maybe let, let's let's see how how powerful I, I can be. Let's um, six time dimension shifts, and yeah, it's definitely possible to reach thirty. And um, there's the dimension boost, and then um, time dimension shift right here. And let's see if this. It's, okay, it's not quite enough. It's fifty two galaxy points. It's not as fast as before. So yeah, I, I, I want to keep this. And maybe if I do a look at these upgrades, maybe these are now better. Uh, not really. I mean, maybe this does make a big difference, like, later on. But I, right now, this just seems weak. Weak. And this upgrade seems like it's just useless. So, I mean, maybe if, if I get enough galaxy points, maybe it will, it, it will do something. But not at this point, unfortunately. So... Yeah, there's, there's not much I can do here, so yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back, um, like a, a day later? Yeah, I think it's a day later. And I've done some shorter runs, and then I've done this long run. It's gone all the way up to 78th dimensions, three galaxies, just a lot of stuff all around. It also, I also got an achievement, this one, by 10 dimension boosts, um... So yeah, I also got a bunch of time dimension boosts, and it increases by two eighth time dimensions every time. So yeah, I can galactic sacrifice for 253 galaxy points, which is quite a bit. And maybe I should try to actually start getting like this upgrade because you can see I have five tick speed boosts, and I it's probably I know it's safe to get one more. Maybe another. Maybe even two, so I still think it's best to do short runs. So yeah, I'm at 981 um, galaxy points. I, I I know it's it's boring to do it like this, but I think this is just the best um, way to actually do it. So I'm gonna turn this back on, and I need two galaxies. The runs are gonna be ever quicker. Like I should be getting like 90 galaxy points per minute hopefully, so, like, I, I can't really tell how many galaxy points I'm getting per minute, but I think, I think it's quite a bit quicker, like, the second galaxy is just so much quicker than before, and now I can actually, um, get enough time dimension shifts, and, yeah, now I have a thousand galaxy points, and for whatever reason, oh, yeah, I can't get this one because I need that one first, so... I feel like this is going to be for next episode, because the thing is that I don't think I really should get these upgrades until I get, until I have like 2,000 galaxy points, or at least, at least, if I want to get like the 300 one, I, I, I need to get, um, a few more galaxy points first, just like 1,300, something like that, and remember, this, this doesn't even help for runs that are not long runs, so... There's not much else I can do other than just keep grinding this out. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.